The inmate and medical services bureaus at the Twin Towers Correctional Facility are giving inmates who have made a commitment to better themselves the opportunity to get tattoos removed. One particular tattoo I have, um, I was on drugs. I was just crazy. I did all kinds of crazy stuff then, and it, it's, um, it says F it, F-E-C-K, it. And I didn't want to show that to my children. At first, Roush says she wasn't willing to change. But when she went to explore the education-based incarceration program, she discovered a whole new perspective. As time goes by, the reason why I went there is not the reason why I stayed. So I want to get a little emotional. <laughs> um. I've changed a lot. The goal of the program is to better the chances for inmates to get a job when they're released. When they go out, we don't want them to come back to the jail system. We want them to be out in the community as a productive member of the community. In the two years the tattoo removal program has been in effect, more than 800 inmates have received treatment. But unlike the other medical services provided here, the program is not funded by taxpayers. This is actually paid for by the Inmate Welfare Fund, which is a fund that's created by uh, the sales of items to the inmates. Currently, the Twin Towers owns two of these tattoo removal machines, each costing roughly $100,000. For inmates who may be hesitant to erase a part of their past, Roush has a bit of advice. I think they should go for it. It, it would make them feel a whole lot better about themselves. Do it. On a UCAR, Los Angeles.